uh, write an, a 202 happy number. Uh, write an algorithm to determine if a number is happy. A happy number is a number defined by the following process. Starting with any positive integer, we place the number by the sum of the squares of its digits and repeat the process until the number equals 1, where it would stay. Or it loops endlessly in a cycle which does not include 1. These, those numbers for which this process ends in 1 are happy numbers. Okay. Um, so we look at any positive integer. Um, the sum of the square of its digits. Okay. <clears throat> uh, okay. Hmm. I mean, this seems pretty straightforward. I'm just trying to think about it. Uh, so basically, the sum of the squares of the digits. So let's say the big number is like uh, nine hundred, like nine hundred ninety-nine million, right? So you have something like this. So that's nine nines. Uh, so that's eighty-one times nine, which is what seven twenty-nine. Um, what is this indenting was here? Weird. Okay. Uh, so seven twenty-nine, and then uh, so right off the bat, um, you know, you go from nine digits to uh, three digits, and in this case, it's just forty-nine plus four plus eighty-one again. Oh, eighty-one again. Uh, what is that? One, it's like one forty or something. One forty four or something. One thirty four. Um, so yeah. So this. Uh, so, so the number of loops are. are hmm. So since this is the uh, 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 kind of the, because you can't imagine, or I I cannot imagine. Uh, uh, after getting to seven twenty nine, it goes over a thousand, right? Because uh, it has to have some kind of adding thing, and this some since one thirty four, so it seems to only get smaller, which is not always true. But at least it will not get over a thousand again after it uh, gets under a thousand. Yeah, which is almost immediately, uh, just by property of how it works. So we could actually just uh, yeah, we keep track of all the stuff that all the numbers that we've been to under a thousand, then it should be okay. And then if we get to one, that's great too. So yeah, okay. Let me just do it this way. Uh, next. Oh man, why is this an board you ask? And the answer is you right. Um. Okay, fine. And then now we just have a, a way of seeing. And as we discuss, a thousand should be okay. Probably even seven twenty nine is okay, but yeah. Whoa. Uh, uh, hmm. Maybe do well. Do I need to do well? Okay. That's all you need. Uh, okay. <coughs> 
All right, just for kind of my sanity for sanity's sake, I'm going to print out these numbers for the example case. So that I'm just making sure my map is right. Okay, that looks right. Cool. Uh, what is an example of one that isn't? Hmm, I guess two probably isn't. I could be wrong. Well, I guess I'll keep the print out here. I can play around with results. Ah, so four is a case where it's not, and only just like eight iterations anyway. Um, cool. Let me just summarize that. So if it gives me negative numbers, I'll be a little sad. Okay. Cool. What? Did I? Submit the wrong code. Oh, uh, hmm, okay, fine. That's my fault. Uh, I think I just didn't initialize the way. So maybe there's some like, uh, it's probably reusing states or something like that. Or reusing some memory things. That's why it's wrong. Okay, well. Should have known anyway. Okay, cool. Yeah, this is. Um, yeah, I mean, I think this is. Uh, uh, some. I mean, I. I think the. I think. I think people uh, uh, generally kind of consider this stuff uh, uh, similar to kind of the uh, uh, the Euler five function, uh, where it's just finding a, a loop in the linked list, right? Uh, and uh, uh, and if you see seeing the loop, then you kind of terminate and so forth, and see. And I think the tricky part about for this problem is kind of um, a couple of ways you could figure it out. Uh, uh, one is just like saying the max element of scene, right? And if scene is small enough, then or like the um, if the max element is small enough, then you could do what I'm doing here. Uh, I think if you're ma more mathematically rigorous, maybe, uh, or you just know some something about the property of the function that this is uh, the next number is calculating, then maybe you could set like out. Oh, uh, like the longest, if the longest chain is only like thirty-four, then or something like that, some number, right? Some number thirty-four, uh, uh, n for thirty-four, say. Uh, then you just do a for loop for like, oh, I'm just gonna run this simulation for thirty-four times or thirty-five times or whatever. And if that still didn't resolve it, then like, and you re return a uh, 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 force, right? But otherwise, this well, this seems pretty straightforward. So not an easy one in the books, minus the fact that I didn't. Uh, 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 initialize their way to zero, and I guess it got caught up. But uh, but cool. Um, pretty straightforward. Oh 